Now let's access the web server. I'm going to input the IP address that I set for this block. And now that I'm in the web server, when making any changes, don't forget to sign in. I'm currently signed in as an admin user, so you will have full rights to make parameter changes, plus forcing outputs and checking input statuses. We do have two other user rights with different permissions, so you can allocate who has what level of access to the web server. Now, in line with Industry 4.0, our Pro modules support IIoT protocols, OPC UA, MQTT, and JSON. With these protocols, you'd be able to access diagnostic or process data from a cloud database, or you can eliminate the need for a PLC hardware and use your RPC to program the module. Let's move on to the main portion, which is configuring the port. Now on pin four, you can configure it to be either a digital signal or IO link, so you can communicate to an IO link device. With pin two, you have the default setting as automatic mode, which means when you plug in an input, it will automatically configure itself as an input. Same thing if you were to plug in an output signal. Not only can you configure it as a digital signal function, you can also configure any of our IO link master ports to connect class A IO link devices or class B IO link devices. Now class B IO link devices require a secondary power source. To make that port into a class B port, you would change the pin two function to aux and it will provide that secondary power source. An example of an IO link device used in the market that's common is an IO link valve bank. Not only can you change the pins function, you can also select the output current per channel between the range of half an amp to two amps. This comes in handy when connecting IO with various current settings. You want to select the current output on the block correctly so it can detect a diagnostic short in less time when it's set properly. So for example, if you were to connect a sensor that only takes 100 milliamps, you would want to set the output current to half an amp. So if a short circuit was to occur at half an amp, it will most certainly show that diagnostic message in a much shorter time than if you were to show or have it as a two amp setting. Another way that this would benefit you as a user is it increases the selection of IO devices and it doesn't limit you based on the current consumption. For example, there are IO link devices in the market that require more than half an amp just to power it up. With our block on the pin one, you can change that with the click of a button instead of having to get creative with a T coupler and an extra power source. Now I'm sure you're pretty curious, why is there red text on the left hand side? This is telling you that there is a diagnostic that is occurring right here on this port. To know exactly what is the issue, I have configured that port as IO link, but I do not have a device connected to it, specifically an IO link device. So I'm going to correct the problem by connecting an IO link device to that port, and you will see that it appears right here on the left hand side. And once I do a refresh, the diagnostic message will disappear. Now, this information that you see on the web server you can also see on the PLC side. So for all you Allen Bradley users, since Allen Bradley is a more commonly used PLC, you can change the parameters of the block right here directly on the PLC, and you can also do it on the web server. We give you, as a user, that choice of how you would like to parameterize it. And furthermore to that, we understand that the process data or the raw data that you will see here is quite a bit. We've also have an AOI, so an add-on instruction available, so you don't have to refer back to the manual every time. Now we thank you for tuning in. I hope we were able to give you some ideas for your application. 
If you have any questions, please contact Scott Equipment and we'll be sure to work with you on how we can make your application easier or even give you options on what we can offer you. Thank you.